This is still News 360 on TV3. Let's shift our attention to some health-related stories. And uh, viewer discretion is advised on this particular story we're about to roll. So it has to do with Burule ulcer, which continues to destroy the social and emotional lives of many people across the country as government makes little commitment towards case management. Currently, only 15 out of the 261 districts in Ghana have the capacity and resources to diagnose and offer treatment. Here's a report by Sarah Paku, and again, I beg your pardon, Sarah Apenkro, but then again, viewer discretion is advised based on the pictures in the story. Buruli ulcer is a chronic skin disease caused by an environmental bacterium, Microbacterium ulcerans, found in rural communities. Its mode of transmission remains unclear, and affected persons live with it for years. A case search program sponsored by ANESVAD and WHO within 15 districts in 2018 revealed cases have shot up across the country. The Biakuya district of the OT region is one of the disease endemic areas. The district is among the lucky ones to have the resources available for treatment of cases free of charge. 85 year old Anselmos in Saw, a regent of Inkonya had his life disrupted in the last year after being infected with the disease. The pain and order prevented him from performing his duties to the community. Until a few days ago, he was unable to walk nor do anything without assistance until he was enrolled into the treatment program. It has infected a lot of people. I least expected this. Now it is healing. Though stigma from the community against the disease persists, he had a supportive family. I was in Accra and heard about the situation with my uncle. I panicked. Forty-year-old Samuel Anson has also lost his livelihood in the last five years as a cocoa farmer. Until his treatment, he was a burden to his family. I went to the farm and felt my feet itch. After three days, I couldn't stand on my feet. I was told it was spiritual. For 42-year-old Esther Kwachi, she also lost her self-esteem in the last three years to the disease. My friends have all distanced themselves from me for fear of being infected. Director Rita Ama Urapa says her outfit has a sustainability plan in place to ensure residents are not shortchanged when development partners pull out eventually. We enter the community and we realize that we have a few cases of Borreliosa, which looks very strange to us in the district. And uh, they are coming for treatment. Most of them are held, but we have few that normally they come for dressing, then they stop coming because they still believe that it is witchcraft. But we are still uh, pleading with the government to try and uh, maybe allocate some funds or logistics so that we will be able to manage if the program fold, falls out. And we are aware that the program will be folding up very soon. Their stories are not different from many others out there in the other regions who do not have a chance to the treatment option. We don't know how it's transmitted, and so we cannot break transmission. And so to be able to reduce the disability that results from Bhuvuli ulcer, what we want to do 
is to detect the cases early and treat them promptly. It's not only the disability we want to reduce, but the socioeconomic burden placed on people as a result of bullying. Because you can live with this bullying for as long as you live. Thankfully, we are training some nurses. They can then direct them to go to some facilities. But those facilities are around the southern part of Ghana here. We don't have some in the northern part. And so government makes the necessary commitment towards the management of neglected tropical diseases. Many will be left behind as the country strives to achieve universal health coverage.